Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. Polkadot now also started to join the rally. So um, as you might remember down here, we talked about a possible move to the upside coming in a way four. This, however, has become much stronger than normally a wave four would become. Now, what you would expect in such a, because this is a diagonal pattern, did explain that in a previous video, what you do normally expect in a diagonal um, that you get an overlap between waves one and four. It doesn't always happen, but you would usually expect that. So that is here at around $6. So that's exactly the reason, or the reason, the region where we currently are. And this could no problem still be that diagonal pattern. So we can explore this also from a bullish point of view. I'm going to show you a bullish count as well, but we just need to be extremely careful that we do not try to um, get too excited here and think that it's a given that the bear market low is already in. I know how easy it is to get too bullish, but it's, you know, we always need to stay objective and staying objective has helped me back in December 21 to predict prices below 30k for Bitcoin, actually below 29k. It has allowed me to predict the five to six dollar range for Polkadot, in which we now are, because I did not straight away at the all time high say we're going to come down now. No, I needed to wait for whatever it to drop like 10%, 15% before confirming we're heading into a bear market. The problem is nobody believed it back then. The same situation now. Um, we don't really have a confirmation of the breakout to the upside. So we still need to be cautious. And I know how easy it is that people already start to go away with it's going to the moon now, which it certainly could do because there is a bearish a bullish count, but we just haven't seen those breakouts yet that we need to see to confirm that a bear market low is already in. So I know a lot of people, when we see a few green candles, believe we can't get any lower anymore but we still can. So that just that you know that the risk is still there. We haven't taken out any relevant levels, as you can see here on the um, daily chart. There is nothing that happened that would invalidate currently um, this diagonal pattern. You know, so it's still possible, maybe in a slightly different count. I can also adjust the count here slightly, but it doesn't overall make a difference. The first key level that needs to be taken out is this high at 742. This would be the first strong signal for Polkadot that the bear market low has been taken out or the bear market low is in. This is still not a confirmation, but it's a strong indication. Until then, there's really nothing of relevance happening here other than a deep retracement and a bear market rally. Saying that, this move up is certainly the most impulsive one I have seen since the lows in July, because this was a corrective mess, this was corrective, and this looks quite impulsive. It means it goes up nearly parabolic. So it's certainly something now for the watch list and to observe. Certainly Polkadot is getting interesting. Um, before we go into the detail, just wanted to show you the higher level count um, to show you where we are in the greater context because with dot, let me just do that. Dot is one of the the strongest charts out there, not necessarily in terms of mm, creating great short term movement here, but it moved back above the 88.7% FIP level yeah, at 564. So when we talked about this bear market, I did talk about prices all the way down to 564 a year ago. Yeah. Um, and we are now exactly in this price range. So this is the long term range where Polkadot can find its long-term low, long-term bottom, it's certainly a sign of strength that we move back above the 88.7% FIP level. On the daily time frame here, it would be highly relevant also to take out the 1069 level, which is the 78.6% retracement. But if we go back into the lower level detail here, um, four dots. So again, I just have to say it again, until we take out 742, we still have to expect one more low, yeah, or at least have to have it on the radar. But what would be a possible bullish count? I can show you that as well, and then it will become clear why the 742 level is so important as well. So I'm just gonna add that in a different, nah, I will show it just like that. So the alternative count would be that we actually came down here in a wave four, 
that uh, sorry in the wave three which was the melo um that the wave four then ended here at this peak at 752 so at 742 which is why it is so important that level because if we take it out then this would be a wave four five down there the last swing low that we made here at around 420 and um then you know it's possible to to call the bear market low in but i would still for confirmation need of course a three wave pullback as always five waves up three waves down but this would be a bullish count and then we would have here in this wave four this would be a triangle pattern so basically a wave up b wave down c wave up d wave down e wave up certainly a valid count um and as always you know as i always say as long as prices only go down you don't have any kind of signal there's no way to call a bear market low in, but obviously we are in a long-term accumulation phase. Anybody who thinks he or she missed anything, I can just encourage you, please just zoom out. You haven't missed anything yet, um, because if this really is the start of the bull market, and again, there is at the moment, I don't want to say zero evidence, because we certainly have strong movements here, but there is only little evidence that it is already the... Um, the bull market but we are still as you can see we're still making lower highs we're still making lower highs so but yeah zoom out and uh, take a look at what price level we are coming from i mean we're coming here from an all-time high of 55 dollars which would most likely be easily taken out in the next bull run so you haven't missed out anything even from the current price range to an all-time high it would be more than a 600 percent increase Okay, and that's my update about Polkadot. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.